Welcome to Anime Law Unveiled, a unique platform where we delve into the fascinating connections between popular culture and ancient narratives. We're your guides on this exciting journey, ready to open your eyes to the unexpected parallels between the vibrant world of anime and the profound wisdom of the Bible. Our exploration is not just a study of characters and plots, but a deep dive into the universal themes that bind us all regardless of our backgrounds or beliefs. So, buckle up, anime enthusiasts, Bible scholars, and curious minds alike, as we unpack the profound layers of storytelling that span from the ancient scrolls of biblical times to the digital screens of the anime world. From the trials faced by biblical heroes to the moral dilemmas of anime protagonists, we're about to explore how these two seemingly disparate worlds collide. Join us on this thrilling ride as we unveil the mysteries lying at the intersection of anime and the Bible, whether you're a seasoned anime fan, a Bible enthusiast, or just a curious viewer, there's something here for everyone. Let's embark on this journey together and prepare to see your favorite anime characters and timeless biblical tales in a new light. Enjoy the ride. Ever pondered the unexpected parallels between anime and the Bible? Two distinct worlds that seemingly have nothing in common. Today, we're embarking on an intriguing expedition, charting the unexplored terrain where these two realms intersect. Anime, a form of storytelling that is both visually alluring and emotionally engaging, has captivated millions worldwide. It's a medium that paints vivid pictures of otherworldly landscapes, delves into the psyche of multifaceted characters, and weaves intricate narratives that keep us on the edge of our seats. On the other hand, we have the Bible, a timeless compendium of tales that have shaped cultures, influenced laws, and provided moral compasses for countless generations. At first glance, the vibrant world of anime and the sacred scriptures of the Bible may seem worlds apart. However, when we delve beneath the surface, we begin to uncover surprising similarities. Both mediums explore archetypal characters, grapple with moral dilemmas, and depict epic battles that resonate with us on a deeply human level. Take, for example, the protagonists in popular anime series like Neon Genesis Evangelion and Attack on Titan. Their struggles and triumphs echo the trials and victories of biblical heroes. They are ordinary individuals thrust into extraordinary circumstances, forced to confront their deepest fears and make unthinkable sacrifices. Anime and the Bible also grapple with profound questions about morality and the nature of good and evil. They depict epic battles, not just between physical adversaries, but also between conflicting ideals and values. These narratives invite us to reflect on our own beliefs, pushing us to question and examine the world around us. We're about to embark on a journey, delving deeper into these unexpected parallels. We'll explore themes of redemption, sacrifice, and the eternal battle between good and evil. We'll draw connections between iconic scenes from anime and stories from the Bible, showing how both mediums tackle the fundamental aspects of the human experience. So, are you ready to see anime and the Bible in a new light? to appreciate the rich tapestry of storytelling that both mediums offer. Hold on to your seats as we dive into an unexpected journey of interweaving narratives from our favorite anime series and timeless biblical stories. Did you know that anime characters often mirror archetypal figures found in biblical narratives? Delve into the world of archetypal characters and you'll discover a fascinating link between anime and the Bible. Archetypes are recurring symbols or motifs that represent universal patterns of human nature. They are deeply ingrained in our collective unconscious and appear in stories across time and cultures, including anime and the Bible. Let's take, for instance, the archetype of the hero. In Neon Genesis Evangelion, Shinji Ikari is a reluctant hero who, despite his fears, steps up to defend humanity. Similar to Shinji, Moses from the Bible was also a reluctant hero. He doubted his ability to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, but ultimately rose to the challenge. Both characters embody the hero's journey, a narrative of transformation and growth. Next, consider the villain archetype. In Attack on Titan, the Titans are terrifying antagonists that threaten the existence of humanity. In the Bible, Pharaoh serves a similar role, oppressing the Israelites and standing against Moses. Both the Titans and Pharaoh embody the villain archetype, representing destructive forces that the hero must overcome. Moving on to the mentor archetype, we find characters like Jendo Ikari from Neon Genesis Evangelion and Moses' brother Aaron from the Bible. These characters guide our heroes, providing them with wisdom and support in their journey. 
Lastly, the trickster archetype is seen in characters like Misato Katsuragi, from Neon Genesis, Evangelion, and Jacob from the Bible. These characters are cunning, and often use their intelligence to navigate complex situations, adding an element of unpredictability to the narrative. So what does this all mean? It means that anime and the Bible, despite their differences, tap into the same well of human experience. They tell stories that resonate with us on a deep primal level by using characters that we recognize and understand. Archetypal characters, whether they're from anime or biblical narratives, embody universal aspects of the human experience, making them relatable to viewers and readers alike. From Attack on Titan to the parables of Jesus, moral dilemmas are a recurring theme in both anime and the Bible. In the world of anime, we often see characters confronted with complex moral choices. Take Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan, for instance. His world is turned upside down when he is faced with the harsh reality of the Titans. The choice to fight against this terrifying force, despite the overwhelming odds, reveals his courage and determination, traits that become defining features of his character. Similarly, in the Bible we see characters grappling with moral dilemmas. Consider the story of Abraham asked by God to sacrifice his only son Isaac. This heart-wrenching decision is a pivotal moment that tests Abraham's faith and obedience, ultimately defining his character in the biblical narrative. These moral dilemmas, though difficult, serve a purpose. They peel back the layers of the characters, revealing their true selves, their values, and their convictions. In the face of adversity, their choices echo loudly, speaking volumes about who they are and what they stand for. In Full Metal Alchemist, Edward and Alphonse Elric make a desperate choice to break a taboo, a decision that carries grave consequences. Their journey to correct this mistake becomes a testament to their resilience and their commitment to right their wrongs. In the Bible, we see Judas Iscariot faced with a similar moral predicament. His choice to betray Jesus is a defining moment, marking him as a tragic figure in the biblical narrative. Yet his story serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of our choices and the power they hold in shaping our destiny. In both anime and the Bible, characters are not defined by their circumstances, but by the choices they make in the face of those circumstances. These decisions, however difficult, become a crucible for character development, molding them into figures that are relatable, inspiring and profoundly human. Moral dilemmas, although challenging, provide a platform for character growth and development in both anime and biblical stories. The epic battles we see in anime series often reflect the age-old struggle between good and evil found in biblical narratives. These battles, painted with strokes of fantasy and reality, echo the timeless tales of humanity's quest for righteousness and the ongoing struggle against the forces that seek to disrupt it. Consider the world of Attack on Titan, where humanity fights against the monstrous Titans. This mirrors the biblical narrative of David and Goliath, where a young shepherd boy stands against a towering giant. Both tales capture the essence of a seemingly impossible battle, where the odds are heavily stacked against the forces of good. Yet it is through these struggles that heroes emerge, showing us that even in the face of overwhelming evil, good can and will prevail. Similarly, in Neon Genesis Evangelion, the protagonists must confront their own demons, literally and metaphorically, just as the biblical characters wrestle with their inner conflicts. Think of Jacob, who wrestled with an angel in a nocturnal struggle, emerging with a new name and a new identity. Both narratives explore the idea that our greatest battles often lie within, and victory comes from confronting and overcoming our inner darkness. In Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, the Elric brothers' journey mirrors the biblical tale of Cain and Abel. Their struggle against the consequences of their actions and their quest for redemption echo the biblical narrative of sin, punishment, and the possibility of forgiveness. Epic battles serve as metaphors for the internal and external struggles we all face, making them a powerful narrative device in both anime and the Bible. They remind us that the struggle between good and evil is not just a grand spectacle on a cosmic stage, but a deeply personal journey, a constant tug of war within our own hearts. These stories, whether they unfold in the pages of ancient scripture or on the screens of modern anime, continue to inspire us, guide us and challenge us in our own battles. As we've explored, anime and the Bible share unexpected parallels, despite their apparent differences. Let's take a moment to journey back through our discoveries, 
to grasp the full picture that's been painted. We've journeyed through tales of characters that transcend time. Characters like Shinji Ikari from Neon Genesis Evangelion, who, like Moses, is called upon to lead his people in a time of great adversity. Both characters grapple with their destinies, their doubts and their fears, yet they rise to the occasion showing us the strength of the human spirit. We then ventured into the realm of choices that define us. Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan mirrors the biblical figure of Judas, as both grapple with choices that lead to betrayal and heartache. Their stories remind us of the power of our choices and the ripple effects they can have. Then we delved into epic battles between good and evil. The struggle of Light Yagami and Death Note mirrors the biblical tale of Adam and Eve. Both tales explore the intoxicating allure of forbidden power and the devastating consequences that follow when we succumb to temptation. These parallels between anime and the Bible remind us that at the heart of every story lie universal themes that resonate within us all. They challenge us to contemplate the deeper meanings within our favorite anime moments and biblical passages. To ask ourselves what can we learn from these narratives? How do they reflect our own experiences, our struggles, our triumphs? In closing, it's fascinating to see how anime, a modern form of storytelling, can intersect so beautifully with timeless biblical narratives. Who knew that anime and the Bible could be such a perfect pair? As we continue to explore these connections, we discover the richness of storytelling that bridges the gap between the modern and the timeless. Before we wrap up this captivating journey, let's pause for a moment. If you enjoyed this exploration of unexpected parallels between anime and the Bible, don't forget to subscribe to Anime Lore Unveiled. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. Join us as we continue to delve deeper into the fascinating world of anime, unveiling hidden meanings and drawing links to the most unexpected places. Not only will you be part of a community that shares your passion, but you'll also be the first to know when we release new content. So whether you're an anime enthusiast, a Bible scholar, or someone simply curious about the world of storytelling, we've got something for everyone. Stay tuned for more Anime Lore Unveiled. We promise you, this is a journey you don't want to miss.